What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas and I got a very important topic to a lot of you today. I'm going to talk about that people have been asking me to talk about to cover uh, since this big change, this big you know cultural change and legal change here in Nevada took place and that is about the legalization of marijuana, right? The legal weed now, legal pot, you know, edibles, right? <laughs> edibles are legal, uh, you know, big... Um, you know, big boost and big support to the cannabis industry, which uh, had a lot of support here uh, in Nevada. And, you know, it's been legalized here as it already has in several other states. But Nevada, you know, is one of the earlier states uh, to have legalized it because still the majority of the states in the U.S. have not. So I'll talk about what it means now in terms of legality uh, for, you know, weed that is for weed to be legalized here in Nevada, uh, particularly here in the southern, La or southern Nevada, here in the Las Vegas area, whether it's Henderson or North Las Vegas or anywhere else in the area, and uh, what it means. Because it is legal, but there's probably about seven things I'm going to let you guys know that are important for you to know as far as the legalization of cannabis products. Now, the first thing I'll let you guys know is that it did become legal uh, July 1st, 2017. And actually, they voted early. Uh, our government had an early election to get this passed through sooner than they initially had wanted to uh, because, well, they wanted the tax revenue, right? The state needed the money. They wanted the revenue. They know it's popular and they knew people were going to be buying it, uh, locals and tourists alike. Okay, so it's legal here now only to be purchased by licensed dispensaries. So whether in Vegas, North Las Vegas, or in Henderson, you can buy them at a dispensary uh, here in the state of Nevada. Now, the second thing you need to remember is that, yes, it's legal here in Nevada. All right, here in Nevada, which means it's just legal at the state level. That's only for up to one ounce. Legal for up to one ounce, okay? The federal government still classifies marijuana as a class one substance, okay? So in the federal government's eyes, it is illegal. All right, but in the state's eyes, it is legal. So remember, that could get into some gray area. I'll talk about that a little more with the law because the federal government is saying one thing, but then the state is saying another thing. So legality can be kind of tricky when it comes to this topic. Point number three that I want you guys to be aware of when it comes to smoking weed, okay? You can only smoke in your private residence or in the private residence of a friend who's given you permission to smoke there, okay? You cannot go out in public smoking anywhere you want, all right? You can't just go walk into some neighborhood down there and just start walking around the neighborhood, walking around the street, smoking in public. You can't do that, okay? The big thing to remember is you cannot smoke anywhere that there are non-consenting third parties, where a non-consenting third party could be present. So you can't go walk around the street, can't be out at a concert smoking weed, at a bar, at a club, at a night, at a lounge, anything like that. You can't just be walking around smoking weed in public. People think that legal just means you can go and smoke like cigarettes. Absolutely not. That is not the case. That is not how the state is regulating it. So keep that in mind. You can't just go around smoking anywhere you want, okay? Now that's going to bring me to my fourth point about smoking weed or the legalization of cannabis products. Private property does not include your personal car out on a public street. So some people think private property like my home, yes, you can smoke in your home. Private property being your car, if you're caught in your car smoking on a public road, that is illegal, okay? You can't be smoking in your car while you're out on a public street, all right? That brings me to my fifth point, which is if you get caught, if you get pulled over smoking weed in your car while you're operating a vehicle, you can get a DUI. Now, people, when they hear the word DUI, they hear that term DUI, driving under the influence, they usually just default to alcohol because that's what it has been for a long, long time. But you can get a DUI for driving under the influence of marijuana, and you will be penalized just as if you were drinking alcohol. Okay? So that's what it comes down to. The other thing to remember is that with, with these new laws in effect, and with weed being something that's newly legalized, like I'm like, you know, alcohol has been legal for a very long time, you know, ever since we tried to ban it during prohibition. With weed, this is new uncharted territory. So if you get pulled over and you're given a DUI for driving under the influence of marijuana, it's very much gray area as to what constitutes under the influence. Because things like, you know, your body size, your tolerance can factor into the equation. So if you get pulled over, you are really, really at risk. And if you've been smoking, then you're really, really at risk of getting a DUI, okay? Then it could be, you know, obviously legal fees to try to argue that or, you know, not get penalized for or not be, you know, be in any kind of trouble with the law for that. So just remember, don't go around smoking in your car on the road. Don't, if you get pulled over for it, you can actually be charged with a DUI for smoking weed while driving a vehicle just like you can with alcohol. The sixth point I want to bring up that's going to be very important is when it comes to your edibles. All right, that's something that, um, you know, people like the edibles because, uh, you know, it's supposed to be stronger. It's supposed to be really strong. Uh, when it comes to edibles, 
you really want to be responsible with those. You really want to hide those and store them in a safe place, especially if you have kids in the house, especially if you have young kids. Okay, because the thing with edibles, the law actually says it. You know, they're not supposed to make uh, edible products that could be mistaken for or that look like a product that, you know, is largely marketed towards children. So edibles, you know, aren't supposed to look, be looking like candy products and that kind of thing. But you see some of these packages of what edibles come in and what they look like. I mean, those packages and how they look, they could confuse adults. Okay, so they can confuse adults. They could very well confuse kids, all right? And most people don't want their kids eating edibles, right? They don't want their kids, you know, consuming that kind of stuff, okay? So if you got kids, be responsible and make sure that you are hiding your edibles um, responsibly and keeping them out of the reach of young kids, keeping them out of the reach of children, okay, in the house. And the seventh and final thing I want to say when it comes to weed is how it can affect you in the workplace, okay? So this is another one where the state law and the federal law can wind up clashing, okay? Because just because weed is legal here at the state level doesn't mean that your employer can't use federal guidelines when they're operating their business. And if your employer is going by federal guidelines and you show up to work and you've smoked and you smell like you smell like weed and, and you've been under the influence and they're suspicious of it, guys, you could easily get sent home for the day, suspended, or even fired, okay? So obviously, you're going to work, don't show up smelling like weed, be smart about it, don't show up to work under the influence, okay? Similar thing with alcohol, you don't wanna show up under the influence, okay? And you're like, well, it's legal, I can do whatever I want. No, that's not the case, okay? You have to be responsible with it, and your employer is probably gonna hold you accountable. So just, just don't think that just because it's legal at the state level that you can smoke and then go right over to work and you'll be fine, because your employer may not allow that. And your employer, if they go with federal guidelines, then they can terminate you and there's nothing you can really do about it. So don't show up to work high, don't do anything like that. Remember, it's legal here at the state level, but does not mean that you just treat it like tobacco, okay? This is something that is new to the state, it's really something that's new to a lot of the country. So remember, the laws and some of the ways that things are getting handled are very much uncharted territory. They, they haven't been gone through a whole lot, a lot of gray areas still with the law, so it's not something that you know you wanna just um, you know be real loose about it with, okay? You still have to be cautious, you still have to be responsible with how you're using this stuff. So when it comes to legalized marijuana, legalized weed, right? You can smoke pot and that kind of thing, but there are still restrictions around it. There are regulations surrounding the law and the usage of cannabis products, okay? So just remember that when you're here, you're, you're, you're getting ready to move to Vegas, you think you can start smoking weed wherever you want, like it's, no, it doesn't quite work that way, okay? So remember all those, you guys are coming here when you're living in Las Vegas right now, right? That's it for this video. I'm Jacob. This is My Life in Vegas.